Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, The Last Refuge of a Scoundrel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the question, what is patriotism? Now, patriotism is a concept that is cherished by some and derided by others. It is taken as a central virtue and a necessary criterion for morality in some communities, but mocked as the last refuge of a scoundrel, or no patriot yet but a fool in others. It is seen as a specific philosophical position by some, while others claim it is a virtue, like courage, that can be exemplified instead of held like a belief. Still others claim that it is an emotional state. In this video, we're going to give a brief overview of generally what patriotism is and some of the questions one needs to ask of a particular type of patriotism. And in the rest of the series, we'll take a look at five different views on what patriotism can mean. So. First off, in its most common formulation, patriotism is simply an emotional relationship. It is simply the love of one's country. In effect, a patriotism is one, a, a patriot, excuse me, is one who loves their country. However, love and country can manifest themselves in many different ways, and different types of patriots will define love and country in different ways. These can look like loyalty to that country over others, care for other citizens of that country, belief in the values that that country claims to represent, taking responsibility for the actions of that country, or the practice of actively working to make that country a better place. All of these different views of love will mean different things for what it means to be a true patriot. Now, to find out what is meant by love of country, we first need to identify what exactly the target of that love is, the patria or country is. Some claim that patria is identical to the specific government, i.e. the president or prime minister of your country, regardless of their actions. Some claim, rather, it's the ideals of your country, the founding principles of your country, regardless of the government that's in power in a particular time. Others still claim that it's your compatriots or your fellow citizens to whom you owe love and whom the true patriot loves. That it's rather your countrymen, not your countrymen and women, not your government or ideals that you owe allegiance. For the patriot, there's a special relationship between them and their patria that they do not have with other patria. You might think of this as the responsibilities to your family. You may think you have different responsibilities to your children or your parents than the children or parents of others that you run into randomly on the street. For the patriot, you do have a special relationship with your patria, with your country. Whether that's your fellow citizens, your government, or the ideas of your country, you have a special relationship with them that you don't have with other governments, other countries, or other citizens. Exactly what those responsibilities are will, of course, depend on how you define love in love of country. Now, the next component we need to define in order to understand patriotism is what is meant by love. To some, love of country means willingness to die or sacrifice for a particular government to protect it. For others, love means willingness to die or sacrifice for the ideals of a country. For patriots like this, the standards of love are quite high, and it takes a great deal to be a true patriot. For others, however, the standard for love is much lower. You might simply need to care for your fellow citizens more than others in some cases, or support your patria only when doing so achieves a greater good. Still, others might claim that love means a dedication to reforming your patria, to make sure it is ethical and good, and taking responsibility for the ethical faults of your country. Now, before moving on from this kind of broad, exploratory definition of patriotism onto some of the specifics, it's important to understand what it is contrasted with, what is the opposite of patriotism, i.e. cosmopolitanism. There are several different types of cosmopolitanism, which we don't have time to get into all of here, but generally, they are a rejection of patriotism and nationalism. Cosmopolitans argue, very generally, that we should be citizens of the world and not have more love for any particular country, nation, ethnic group, culture, set of compatriots, etc., than any other. The cosmopolitan argues that it's irrational to love your fellow citizens more than other humans, or your own country more than others. 
So it should be clear now how patriotism can garner so many disparate views, despite being at first appearance the simple concept of love of country. People define love in many different ways, particularly when it comes to patriotism. In the rest of this series, we'll look at five distinct views of the correct patria and correct way to express love of country and how those views contrast. But first, in the next video, we will cover the difference between nationalism and patriotism. If you're curious for more on nationalism, check out our earlier series on nationalism. But what do you think? If you had to offer a definition of patriotism right now, how would you define patria and love? Or do you think that patriotism is a bad thing and you don't want to define it because you don't accept it at all? Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to make sure you catch all of the rest of the videos in this series. Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.